my channel my name is Danzy and welcome to today's video so today's video is another one of my dressing room try on videos and today I headed on over to Maya now if you're not from Australia uh, and you sort of know the US relatively well Maya is pretty much very similar to a Macy's so it's a department store that has like a whole mixture of products in there and there's also ladies clothing there is a ladies like curve plus size section so I popped into there and thought I'll try on a few things in some different brands that were in there just to give you guys a bit of a taste well, I guess it's not really taste uh, a vision <laughs> of some of the stuff that's out there at the shops currently now Maya always has good quality stuff I must say whilst a lot of us might not go there because number one it's a little bit on the pricey side two sometimes the fashion is a little bit outdated i find uh, and it doesn't target the new age fashion the sort of the stuff that we're into now where we want to have tighter fitted clothing uh, not so like baggy where you're wearing leggings and a big baggy top still some of that in there i must say but some of the brands are slowly starting to take on board that you know some of us want to be like trendy some of us most of us want to be like Maybe trend is not the word, but you know, we want to embrace our curves and why not? Because we should. We want to look good too. So uh, I thought I'd pop into a Maya that had a reasonably decent like plus size section and I've got a change room, dressing room, try room, fitting room, whatever it is called, try on for you guys today. So I'm going to do it where I'll talk over it and I'll pop it on the side here. So let's get started with the first item that I tried on. Now I tried on this denim jacket that was in the taking shape section it was the virtual now i didn't realize that there was a virtual by taking shape but this jacket was like folded over so it wasn't on a hang or anything but i thought let me try it on and it wasn't double breasted which i loved and it had stretch on it so i tried it on in a size 20 and it fit me so well i really liked the way it stayed i loved how it had that like one little button so it was like a you know like when you wear like a nice fitted jacket but it was in denim it just looks really nice very elegant stylish i actually really really liked it uh the they had pockets but like the pocket didn't close down it just sort of flapped over but no issues there they still worked i really liked it and i love trying on things in the plus section because they actually make them for plus people rather than me as usual always trying to squeeze myself into like the largest in the straight section where i know it's too tight whereas when you know in the plus like the length is good the sleeves are good so this stayed really really well on the lovely button details were also great and that's, that's sort of what like, like drew me to it. I liked the denim look of it but I also really liked the buttons because I thought it looked super funky. So it wasn't tight in the arms at all and this one is super duper. I do definitely recommend this. It's something that you could keep in your cupboard as a staple for like years. So the next item that I tried on was this lovely like pleather style skirt from the brand Basque. Basque. I'm not sure how you pronounce it exactly. However, it's like I always have seen this brand. And I always felt like it was a nice worky brand. But this skirt was so delightful. The color is so wintry. And it was on sale. So I believe it could have been last season's. So it was like half price from like $120 down to $60. Which is a great, great price. Now, I found the quality so good. Because it was like there was lining on the bottom. So it made the skirt sit really well. Now, I have... I've bought a plenty of pleather skirt myself in a cheapo brand and they don't sit that great. Like you could you could see all the lumpity bumpities, but when you get something with lining on the bottom, it always stays so much better. It doesn't like show your underlines or things like that. And this skirt stayed so well. It had like an A-line finish. There was like a line down the center. I believe it was down the center. And it just stayed so well. The length was probably a tad too long, but I think that that's the length that's in right now. From what I'm seeing in a lot of things, this like kind of three quarter leg length is what's in with like short booties. I guess that's like this season and probably maybe last season's trend. But you could always like if you wanted to pull it up a little bit higher. But if you're taller, it might sit a bit shorter. But otherwise, it, it was just adorable. I loved it. it is, I really ummed and art about getting it. And I may go back to get it because I know it is something that I would really wear. But I love the way it sat. There was a zipper on the side. It had stretch to it. So it was very accommodating to my body shape. 
and I think it looked so good on. Like, I definitely do recommend that one. I, just, I think I tried that on in a 22, so it was true to size. It fit me very well. The next item I tried on was from in that brand, Piper. Now, I tried it on in a 22 because I didn't know if it had stretch or not. And it is this leather look pleather jacket. And at first, I was like, when I saw it on the hanger, I thought, oh, I don't know. It might look a little bit frumpy. But it actually sat so well. Now, for me, it comes like sort of exactly like to my waist. And I love a cropped look of a jacket. I find like it really defines your waist and doesn't hide it. It sat so well. You could wear it open. I love the like the zipper. I really like that zipper look with a little bit open here. If you wanted to, you could zip it all the way to the top. It was very comfortable and soft. Fit me in the arms. Like I've got big big arms there and it definitely fit wasn't tight at all uh it stayed really really well i really like this item now for a pleather jacket is something that you would get and you you would last forever and it is in a style that it kind of like is always in if you know what i mean it's not something that's in this week not next week so it would be a little bit of an investment for the price definitely but some of these things like you could wear the life out of them now it was 130 dollars which for something that you can keep for ages i don't think that's a bad price because we are looking at good quality winter items and i actually think that's something that's really really cute on jeans over a dress like now I want it. The thing is, today, a lot of the stuff that I tried on, I actually want to want them. Too bad my pockets aren't that deep, but like a lot of the things that I know would last me forever, so I, therefore I know like the quality is good and you can hold on to it, which is something that, you know, you kind of have to weigh up and down when you're buying things. Like if you want something cheap for this season or if you want to invest in something that you can keep for a long time, which a lot of us do have those investment pieces. So the next item that I tried on was also in the same Piper brand and it was something that I grabbed because I really liked the tan colour and I really liked the fact that the sleeve here kind of came in and then it billowed out a little bit and I just imagined in my head like a stylish businesswoman and even though I don't really wear things that come up high, I thought you know what I'm going to give it a go and I loved it. I love the sleeves. I feel like the sleeves make this top, especially the fact that it doesn't just come in like a little bit. It's like a big chunk that comes in there and then it sort of flows out. It just sits so well. You could wear it like over if you want to over pants, but I would much prefer to kind of like not tuck it in all the way, but you know, when you pull it out a little bit, I feel like that, you know, with like a nice business skirt, it looks so stylish, so put together. You know, it looks expensive as well. It's not something that you, it looks like, cheapo you just got off you know like one of those cheapo stores it actually i really really like it it's something that it, it's not just like a plain sweater where you're just like okay this is like a plain one i'll wear it here to there this is something that makes you feel stylish and i love pieces like that where there's a little bit of different to them they're not just like something that everyone else has and this is definitely one of those pieces so um i totally really like this top now, price-wise, it was a little steep for me at $90, but I really, really liked it. So, I'm not sure. I think Piper may have been having a sale, but it's also something good to look at. Have a look online. I would tag what I can, but have a look online when they have sales. Like, that's the best time to grab these pieces. So, the next skirt that I tried on, now, I don't remember the brand of it, but I will try and link it down below for you guys. Uh, was this, like, from far, it looked like it was a little bit leopard skinny, but it's actually, like, polka dots, sort of, some are on top of each other, some are further away apart, and it's, like, a really, really nice wintry pattern. Now, what I liked about it was it had a little tie-up, which I love tie-up things, and it kind of had, like, a little bit of a bell shape. Is that even a bell curvy shape at the front? Now, I tried this one on in a size 22, which is my regular size, but I did find... It did fit me, but I probably could have done with a size up because of the front bit. Only me, because I don't like to have that front sort of bit showing. So I would have liked it to be a little bit more covered, but then it might have been big on my waist. Uh, there was actually elastic on the waist, and there was a zipper that was deceiving. So the zipper came down this long, but the only bit that worked was a top little bit like this because the rest was sewn together. So the zipper's pretty much there for decorational purposes. I don't even know why they put it. Uh, but I kind of got it in over the top of me. 
and it's really cute. The style of it is cute, and the fabric is um, it's a it's it's a little bit of stretchiness, but it's a little bit stiffish. Um, if that makes any sense, it's like um, I was gonna say like tablecloth material, but then there's lots of different tablecloth materials. Uh, the only thing that I wasn't uh, too um, impressed on this skirt was the fact that the fabric on the other end came up that like whitey color so for a skirt that you're going to do a tie up I believe the tie up bits should at least be the exact same on both sides because when you tie it up you you want it to like fall together so when you're seeing that other like whitish sort of fabric go with that it just doesn't go it sort of looks like out of place or you have to totally make sure you fix it properly that when it's sitting there you can't see the fabric that's not meant to be seen which is not something we do most of us just tie it up and off we go so that's the kind of downfall of this skirt but it actually stays really well was comfortable as well so uh, it was actually a little bit harder to take off because the zipper didn't work like it only worked a little bit like that so I, I might probably give this one a pass but um I didn't actually mind it like I like the way it did stay on me uh, that one was also in I think it was a clearance section so it was down to like $44 which is actually not too bad like when it was originally over a hundred dollars so next I wandered into the forever new section which not all the Myers do have and this one did have which was great uh, and I tried on this like uh, a a thick material knit top now once again it was the tan color that sort of drew me to it and I thought okay because usually in winter I don't mind wearing tops three quarters or to here because you wear a jacket on top and then usually when you're walking around or anything it's inside it gets warm so you can take it off so I thought let me try it on and it actually stayed really really nicely I love the big like open neckline here uh, there was a touch of like elastic to hold it down here which was good Plenty of room in the arms, uh, plenty of room, and it was nice and thick, so it fell well. Like, it's not one that will, like, show, you know, where, you, where your, I was going to say, like, pants lines and things are. So, it's like, uh, it's nice and thick, and it looks really good quality, which was nice. Uh, it's a touch on the pricey side, I must say, for a top at $80, or $7.99, no, 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 that's $80. Uh, so, I kind of uh, wouldn't get it unless it was on sale, because I just feel like it was really nice, but I don't think worth that. Uh, but also, like, I'm glad to see that Forever New does have some styles in there that are a little bit more with what we are looking for these days which which is awesome now still in the forever new section the coat was what i saw first and as soon as i see something like fluffy with a touch of purple in it i was drawn to it i had to try it on it just looks so beautiful on the coat hanger just like so stylish and just lovely and i love furry stuff now the fur is detachable if you wanted to take that off and I also love that he had a tie up. The only thing is when I tried it on, I actually didn't think he looks that great on me. Like it didn't look bad, but it kind of looked like a dressing gown for some reason. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that's how it kind of looked to me. Um, maybe it was the lighting um, of like in the change room. Uh, and I would have liked it if he looked a little bit more purple. I don't know what it was about it. I didn't love it, which I was glad because of the price ticket on there because I probably couldn't have kept my hands off it. However, it is one of those durable coats that's nice and thick, great quality that will last you many, many years. So that is definitely an investment piece. Definitely something that if you get, you will hold on for a very, very long time. Uh, I really liked that the buttons, so you kind of like came over and the buttons were pressings so uh, rather than like a button trying to get your fingers in you just like kind of pressed it together which was really nice and innovative I like that because you can't see the buttons on the outside and then I liked that he had like the tie up belt to kind of cinch you really in and if you're if you're not like me and don't love a fluff you can always take that off and then it's a lovely coat you could tell it was really good quality uh, the only thing was they hadn't unpicked the pockets but they were there I could tell in one of the sides I kind of shoved a couple of fingers in just to make sure so there were pockets but they were unpicked you'd have to unpick them yourself or unless somewhere you go that they've done that um, but definitely I mean you can't have a coat with no pockets uh, although you know this was it was really good to see something that just looked 
nice or i know nice is not the word they just looked really put together uh, expensive and lovely and just not like frumpy i know i really really like that so i'm really glad that like forever new is doing i mean i haven't actually gone in the forever new like straight stores to see if that's something that they have there and have bumped it up but i really like that they have something like that that's stylish and the color also works really well so it's not just black like it's a really nice cute purpley color so that one retails for about $1.90 and you know what, Maya always has sales so keep an eye out, they always have a sale on. My battery died so I had to change it and little guy just got back from his walk and we're going to go to the park so I have to keep him a little bit busy otherwise he'll be banging the door down. Anyways, we're only down to a couple more items. Now the next thing, <laughs> now the next thing that I tried on was this flowy skirt, it was nice and black and it had this little little pattern with like that looked like little flowers like a little print it was nice and flowy it was lovely it's something that sort of passed on through come down through the summer to autumn and that's probably why it's on sale but it's nice and flowy if you like that sort of style it's it was like uh, straight at the front and then the elastic goes in the back and there's a little tie up but it's really adorable uh the bottom has like a little bit of a ruffle flow really cute with like short boots uh, i tried it on in a 22 which is generally my size and it fit very well. I probably could have sized down. Usually with skirts like that, they're flowy so they fit and uh, in the waist bit they'll fit with a size down. But the 22 was perfectly fine. Uh, it was adorable. Like I could just imagine it with like a little denim jacket or just like, like what I'm wearing now, like a plain white top. Um, super comfortable. Something that, you know, if, you, if you're not comfortable showing your legs, especially during winter, if you get cold, uh, the length was per perfect, especially when you put on some boots it's adorable so I think that's definitely like something that's great that's on sale and then lastly I thought you know what let me just jump outside my box not with the pattern but with the style of dress the pattern is something I love you know me I love an animal printable if you know me and I thought you know what I would probably not go towards like a shirt looking dress but I thought you know what? I just gotta try it on I need to see how it looks like on me now I didn't realize before I tried on that it's actually like a two-piece so there comes like an underdress and then you pop the shirt dress on top which is great i love that they're not actually joined anywhere because sometimes that gets really annoying like when you're trying it on and you're trying to get it to fit and it's just really annoying so the great thing is you pop on your little slip on top which you could do it like that if you wanted to and then you pop the dress over and it's beautiful it's nice and flowy uh, it looked so lovely like it's it's all the way down it had buttons through and then there was a lovely little type if you don't like the type you don't have to wear it I personally love like a little tie up. I love that it was flowy and perfect now for like the autumn to winter changeover. And it, this is also an item animal print is always in, especially in winter. Like I feel like animal print is really big. And this is an item that looks like it's very nice quality and will last you quite a while. And you could wear it season after season. A dress like that that's flowy with buttons through is definitely something that you can hold on to for ages. Uh, so I was actually pleasantly surprised that I really liked how it stayed on me and I like that it's very it's like a statement piece you know it's something that like you want to wear you kind of want to stand out but you're not too much but you want to look stylish and good and that is definitely like one of the dresses to go for sizing wise there was plenty of room plenty of room in the arms and this is one thing about plus size clothing that I love to try on instead of straight size because there's always room in the arms it's very rare that I'll buy something that's plus size that is tight in the arms and I have pretty chunky arms and I love that there is room for them so this dress was definitely an adorable one and if you like it give it a go and that is all that I tried on over at Maya today. I feel like I was in the change room forever because I was really like checking everything out. It just like made me think when me and my sister have these conversations about how I like good quality stuff can last you ages now i do tend to get a lot of inexpensive items mainly because i film for you guys and i want to show you guys what's out there if your pockets aren't deep and also if you want like to grab seasonal things i feel like seasonal stuff works really well when you don't want to spend too much money but if you want something that's going to last you like i do recommend to you know actually invest and sometimes when you look at the long run it's not actually that expensive 
and you can always get sales especially like places like Maya they always have a sale like I feel like one week it's shoes one week it's clothes so there's always something that goes on sale and then by the end of the season and because a lot of the stuff that they have is generally something that you can wear season after season when the season passes then they go to like half price which is even better and you can grab it and wear it next year and it still looks like it's in because it's classical which is what I love and what I do find the better the quality of the material the better it actually looks on you so in in the end you know if you win even if for day-to-day -day wear when something looks better on you you feel better uh, so yeah <laughs> and that brings us to the end of the video and junior he's getting impatient and it's time to go sweetie thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy this video and if you do enjoy like try on stuff and changing room dressing room stuff please give this video a thumbs up as i would really appreciate that and also let me know that you guys like it so i can go ahead and look for some more places for you guys thank you so much so much for watching and we will see you soon bye